Welcome in Tuan video tutorial about Tuan sim hunting system and DID and DOD for mobile network system. We will describe the purpose and usage of boot systems. Tuan sim hunting solution is designed for providers and approved from them. You can provide typical services of fixed network in UMTS or GSM network and obtain more customers and revenues from mobile network. With this solution you will never miss a call. You do not need to publish plenty of SIM card numbers. You will publish only one number and have it ring on multiple devices although you are using a GSM gateway with 30 inserted SIM cards. Incoming calls to one particular number are routed to the first three SIM in the GSM gateway. Besides this wonderful possibility, can customer achieve add-on features on smart e-gateway, for example call recording. And how is the system basically working? Imagine you have a PBX system equipped with a GSM gateway with 30 inserted SIM card, basically for cost saving. In case of outgoing call you are representing yourself by SIM card number. That's why you can have up to 30 different numbers. With 2 and SIM hunting you can solve this issue very easily and you can represent your company by just one number. Whole system is divided into two parts. The first part is user side, in our case company A, where 2 and GSM e gateway is situated. The second part is operator's core network where 2N SIM hunting platform is integrated. 2N SIM hunting platform is interconnected with the MSC by PRI connections. There is an outgoing call from PBX. PBX user is dialing 79123456789 and the call is routed through the e gateway. Operators MSC recognize that the call is made from one of SIM cards, which are inserted in eGateway. Operator can recognize outgoing call from these SIM cards. That's why is this call immediately routed from MSC to 2 and SIM hunting platform. Our platform recognize that the SIM belongs to particular virtual number and change the information about calling number and sends the call back to MSC with information which virtual number is calling. MSC will then provide the call to final destination. 79123456789 in our case, but the identification will be 78222222222. Instead of previous SIM card number. So it means one number publishing. Let's focus on incoming call. For example, any mobile phone user is calling virtual number. This number belongs to company A. MSC recognizes that there is a call to virtual number and immediately ask to an SIM hunting platform which SIM cards belong to this number and which SIM cards are actually free. On our example, there is another call through the first SIM. So to an SIM hunting platform informs MSC about other SIM from company A range. The call will reach the first free SIM card in 2N GSM e gateway and will be distributed to PBX. According to PBX setting will be the call routed to final extension. Right now we have a brief overview about SIM hunting. So we can focus on DID and DOD for mobile networks. The principle is very similar. But inbound calls are routed directly to a particular extension, DID or also known as DDI. Outbound calls from PBX extensions are identified by their extension number. So no IVR or switchboard operator is necessary. 
and all of that you can achieve without using E1 or SIP trunk only through GSM or UMTS. So you can provide typical services of a fixed network in GSM or UMTS networks. The system is divided also into two parts. User side with 2N GSM e-gateway and operator's core network with 2N TID platform. Additional information sent from e-gateway to MSE is direct extension number according which is then virtual number modified. Principle of communication between MSC and 2N DIT platform is very similar to sim hunting. But right now is virtual number modified according to extension digits. You can see on our example with extension 112. Then calling number is 7811122112. And in another case, extension 299 is calling. So calling number will be then 7811122299. Incoming direction is very similar to SIM hunting 2. But additionally, we are transmitting extension number, which is finally split at 2N GSME gateway and send directly to PBX. See the example where 79123456789 is calling at 78111222299. Call goes to MSC. MSC recognizes virtual number range and asks to an TID platform for a free SIM card which belongs to this virtual number. So to particle company, 2NDID sends also information about extension, which is called. Thank you for your attention.